What's up, what's up, guys? What's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy Roy back at it again with another episode of the Preaching the Birds podcast. And I got to talk to you about some depressing ass news again. Again. Fletcher Cox has decided to retire from the Eagles fan base, Eagles franchise. Truthfully, it's something that, that almost made a tear come to these eyes. It almost made a tear come to these eyes, these old hosts, you know what I'm saying? But realistically speaking, you know, Fletcher Cox got to do what he got to do. And. You know, we gotta, he got to do what he got to do for him. Personally, I thought he had like, you know, another two years in the minimum. But in my opinion, you know, he just doesn't want to be a, a participant in a rebuilding stage. And obviously, it seems like that's the way the Eagles are going to go. And I know y'all is going to be poo-pooing like, bro, why are you saying this? All this negative. You an Eagles fan. I'm just real. I can't I can't deny what my eyes see. So what was going on now is we're going to a youth movement. And now I see. I see why Howie Roseman is shopping Josh Sweat and he's shopping Hassan Reddick for these picks. It's because we're going to a youth movement. We're trying to build a young defense. We need all the picks we can to replace, you know, the DT presence of Fletcher Cox, to replace the presence of Jason Kelsey, to replace the, the veteran leadership. You feel me? So look. At first, I was upset, but now that I see what's going on, now I see what Howie Roseman is planning. You know, um, personally, we're all going to be sad that Fletcher Cox, you know, is going to go. But like I said earlier, you know, he he, he got to do what's best for him. But, you know, speaking on that, you know, talking about this youth movement that's going to be happening and some participating in this. You know, we can talk about, you know, potential players that we really need personally. Like I've said before, like, I really like Brandon Fisk out of Florida State. Hopefully we can draft him. That would be a great piece to add to this D-line. We're going to need somebody else on top of the two studs we have already. Now, you know, he might be a first-round pick. He might be a third-round pick. We don't know where Brandon Fisk is going to go, but with the 4-9 for show, we got to look at this dude. Come on. Amen. At 300 pounds, you cannot clown around, and you got to get down with the get down and go get that dude. Mr. Howie Roseman. Um, o lineman, hopefully we don't draft the O lineman early in in the draft, but you know Howie Roseman, he's probably gonna do it. My personal favorite though is to get a cornerback fast, Quinion Mitchell. Quinion Mitchell out of Toledo. You need to go get that nigga ASAP, Howie. But hey, how y'all feel about the youth movement that's gonna go down? I think that's 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 where we're going with this on the defensive end of uh, the spectrum with all these players, you know, retiring that are older. You know, but let me know how you guys think. That's all I really got for y'all. Peace out.